Hey team, the purpose of this video is to teach you how to use Quiz Is. Quiz Is is an online assessment tool that allows you to practice content that you are probably going to use on an upcoming test or quiz. And it's also a great study tool as well. When your teacher pushes this resource out to you, you will probably see a link inside Google Classroom. Go ahead and click on that link, and then after you click on that link, you'll land here at Quiz Is. Now, hopefully your teacher will also remember to put the game code inside that assignment. You can either copy and paste that game code right here into this white box, or you can just carefully type it number by number. Once you have typed that information into this box, you're then going to click on the button that says Enter Game. Now, you wouldn't type in the code that I have on the screen in front of you. This is simply a code I'm using for this video. So pay attention to the code inside Google Classroom, please. Once you get in to quizzes, it's going to say enter your name. Now, I don't want you to enter Scooby-Doo or Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse or Iron Man. It is most important that you enter your own name. Your teacher is going to receive assessment data, letting her or him know exactly how you did on this test or quiz. So right here in this box, I put my first name and I also put the first letter of my last name. If there are two students in a class where they have the same first name and they share the first letter of their last name where it's the same, a few of you might need to type in your entire last name, but for most of you, it's just your first name space followed by the first letter of your last name. Once you have checked to make sure that you have spelled your name correctly and that you've put it here in this box, at that point go ahead and click on this green button right here that says start game. Now my recommendation to you is anytime you're using this resource always use good test taking practices. When you arrive here at this screen you're going to see your name and then you'll also see the names of other students pop up if they're playing it at the same time. Another thing that's helpful is it lets you know exactly how long this game will run. Is it going to finish in three days, four days, nine days, 11 days? You'll know exactly how long this resource will be available to you. Once you are ready to start, go ahead and simply click the start button right there on the screen and it will take you right into this particular quiz. As I started mentioning just a moment ago, please make sure that you're always utilizing quality test taking practices. Make sure that you read each question carefully and also make sure that you read all the answer choices carefully. Those are two really important things in this resource. You might make you might be the first one done, but if you've answered every question incorrectly, that's not very helpful. So right here I'm going to read through the question and after reading through the question then I'm going to look at my answer choices and then I'm going to choose the very best answer option. Along the top, you'll notice how this band is getting smaller and smaller. Each question has a time limit. When you select the correct answer, you will see how that answer turns green, and there's also a check mark that appears. Again, my caution to you is to read all answer choices carefully because sometimes one of the answer choices will actually say all of the above. And so, all of the other three answers are correct, but you need to click where it says all of the above in order to get that answer correct. One great thing about this resource is that it instantly lets you know if you have answered that question correctly or if you have answered that question incorrectly. Another thing to pay attention to, up at the top where the question has been recorded, it is also important to look for questions like not or avoid Sometimes the question has been written in the negative form and what you're actually looking for is the opposite or the one that does not apply. So please do me a favor, make sure that you read all of those questions carefully and make sure that you read all those answer choices carefully as well. In just a second, I'm gonna land on question seven. Right now I'm currently on question five up in the top left hand corner of the screen. You'll notice how there is a gear. Immediately next to the gear, it says five, 
slash 20. So that lets you know that I'm currently on question five. So now I'm on question six. So right up there in the top left corner, how there's the gear. Now it says six slash 20. In just a second, my mouse is going to scoot up to the top on the left. And obviously it's going to say seven slash 20. So it lets you know that I'm currently on question seven and that there are 20 total questions available inside this quiz. My video is going to um, cut out in just a second and I'm going to magically land on question number 19 and then I'm going to talk to you about the very end of this quiz in just a second. Here I am on question 18. Obviously I'm going to move on to questions 19 and 20. Throughout the course of this quiz, I have purposefully fully chosen just a few of the answers where I made sure to get them wrong so that you could see what that final data looks, looks like at the end. One thing I didn't model over the course of this recording is what it looks like to actually skip a question. If the time runs out on a particular question, it will be recorded as un, uh, unanswered or unattempted. So on the screen in front of you, I want to highlight a few things. Here in the middle, it shows that I got 15 correct answers. I got five incorrect uh, answers, and zero of them were skipped. So unattempted means that I skipped those. Up at the very top of the screen in the green band, it shows that I only got 75% correct on this quiz. And then in that golden colored band, it shows how many points I earned. You earn more points for correct answers that are answered in a shorter period of time. Just on the bottom there, I clicked on the green button that says that I get to replay this game. One thing that you'll notice on this screen where it says enter your name, what did I just do? I didn't enter my name. I actually entered the game code, so please don't do that. If you re-enter the game and you want to try this quiz again, make sure that you type your name all over again, please, and thank you. After you've had a chance to type your name all over again correctly, please and thank you, go ahead and click on this green button right here that says enter game, and then obviously you're going to enter the game again. You can use this quiz uh, this game over and over again in order to practice the skills that you will be tested on whenever your teacher has said, hey, by the way, the test is going to be on this particular day. So in my opinion, this is a great homework resource. It's also a good in-class practice resource from time to time as well. On I hope that you enjoy this resource as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching this video team and have a great day.